guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to be doing this wound this very easy wound i use a prosthetic that i create myself as i've been doing the last videos and you will find all the information necessary below and this is a prosthetic that will stay there uh, for a long time because i use prosthetic one of the most intense adhesive that we have for um, gluing and um, prosthetics into the face so this is uh of course it's not a um, cursor it's not a zombie or nothing like that but this is something that you can add to the character you will choose to dress up like on Halloween maybe you can add this to a maybe a clown or something like that to give that extra push to the effect easy to do looks so ish but let's get started right away I'm gonna start with the prosthetic that I created myself as I've been doing the last few videos and of course you'll find the link below where you can see the video to how to create them. We're gonna first measure where we're gonna be placing and find the right place. I'm gonna be adding as an adhesive uh, prosthetic. You know you can add uh, mastic and also even latex. You can apply a thin coat on the back leaving the borders without this adhesive. Then apply the a prosthetic and added uh, the touch of uh, adhesive on the borders glue them and then add an extra layer on the border and set everything with powder once it's dry For the foundation, I'm going to be using a quite high coverage foundation. I'm going to be applying all over the face, neck, chest, and of course on the old prosthetic to unify everything. I'm gonna start giving some color to the wound and I'm gonna start with this dark thing with the cream colors and start adding with a very fluffy brush on top of the wound just to create that irritation effect. Gonna be giving some irritation around the uh, face also but I'm gonna be adding uh, the coat of foundation on top just to give kind of underneath type of feeling of this irritation The same color and a smaller brush, I'm going to start adding some details inside of the wound 
Then I'm gonna be switching with the darker shade. I'm also gonna go for a brownish red, with the red. And uh, then I'm gonna be adding some brown, mixing it all together to create different type of, you know, of uh, 3D effect on the wound. a bit of definition and dimension for that I'm gonna be adding this light pink like it would be the muscles bows and things like that and the contrast between the dark and the light will give more realistic effect. give a bit more fresh effect to the one. I'm gonna be mixing a clear Vaseline with a cream color in red and adding some touches like maybe like a fresh kind of blood. Then I'm gonna be adding a little bit of black to give a more kind of darkest uh, blood effect and adding also in some of the areas. Last step can be skipped. I'm gonna be using coagulated blood and add it just a tiny bit in some areas to give it more kind of that effect. But with the Vaseline, with the colors, they giving already dewiness, so you don't need this if you don't have any blood, and we are done. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I'm gonna leave the list of products that I use as always on the bar below next to tons of other makeup tutorials you'll find interesting for this season. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the tutorials that I'm gonna be uploading this month. Also, um, I'll keep uploading the rest of the year and also you have ton of uh, tutorials that I have already uploaded that you can check it out right away. Thumbs up if you like this video and as always, thanks so much for spending some time with me. Be happy and see you next one.